Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for July 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that my readings are love readings, so if you're looking for a money reading or a career reading, then this reading is not for you. If you are in a happily ever relationship, this problem, this reading is not for you as well. Okay? This, when you, you know, these readings are for people that are struggling in love. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then you probably don't need a tarot reading. This reading will not resonate for everybody. It's for somebody. I don't know who. Whoever I'm connecting to right now. Could be an end of a contract. Okay, there's been some conflicts. There's been some indecision, but it looks like the contract is over. We have a new fire, new spark. Somebody is deciding to stand up, no longer be stuck. I'm not stuck. I'm, I'm standing up. Accepting this change. May still feel a little resentful, however. Angry, maybe. But I do know what I deserve. Ooh, look at that. So, it appears that you do have a new opportunity for love here, Libra. You do. Something that is exciting, something that is passionate, and could lead to, a, to, a, to love, okay? But you guys are still holding on to something, and it could be resentment, okay? Holding on to something. This is repression, loss of self. You need to let you know let go of those feelings let go of this repression let go of hanging on to whatever it is you've been hanging on to because you deserve so much more you know it's a time of happiness it's time to be happy and i feel like you there's perhaps a, a happy new start being offered to you um your how other people see you as pessimistic people see that you're pessimistic they see that you're you're, you may be a little pessimistic about letting this new opportunity grow and blossom because of something that didn't work out in the past, some sort of love connection that didn't work out. So they see that you're pessimistic, but I, whoever this person is that is giving you an offer, I don't think they're giving up. They're not giving up. And I feel as though, you know, you may, you're just, you may, maybe you're just a little scared you're just maybe a little scared to to let somebody in but i do feel like your your challenge is this high priestess card reversed it's, your challenge is thinking you know when you don't know you know what i mean that's a challenge you have to go with the flow the universe drives what is meant to be will be you can't you can't control the script and that's your challenge your challenge is is thinking that you know how things are supposed to be when sometimes stuff goes on behind the scenes that are, that are outside of your control and you don't really know, okay? So your challenge is realizing that there's a divine plan and it's out of your hands. That's your challenge. It's out of your hands, okay? You can't hold on to something that isn't meant to be or you can't hold on to resentment forever that'll just hinder your progress so there's an opportunity for love here that could lead to a lot of happiness Libra oh goodness but you're holding on to resentment and anxiety for any of you look the card up somebody's holding on to re resentment and anxiety here and it's this fears, fears of being hurt again. So there's emotional coldness, uh, being emotionally guarded. You are being emotionally guarded from opening your heart. 
This is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is this is a dream come true. It's a it's a wish. I mean, even though it may not be the actual wish that you made, perhaps you were wishing for somebody else, but sometimes the universe works in mysterious ways and I feel that's that that is what has happened here. There's a new passionate opportunity uh, that uh, that leads to something very very fruitile, okay, and um, abundant and wish fulfilling and happy if you could look at it as a time of inspiration. You know, this is a time of hope. This is a time of of happiness. Look at it through those eyes. This is a time of getting what you deserve. It's your turn to get what you deserve. It's really beautiful. It really is. Um, it's like a renewal. A rebirth. You know, you've avoided a much bigger disaster. You've evolved. You've been through some sort of healing process. You've been through a transformation. And now you are receiving some sort of, I would say, golden opportunity. But you may stall it. You may, you may stop it right in its tracks. I think that somebody is charging into your life. You know, somebody is coming right in. They're, they're coming in with some sort of offer that is, seems to, too good to be true. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of love. But I feel as though you're, you're trying to avoid it. I think you're trying to avoid getting hurt. You're trying to stall it. You're trying to stop this person right in their tracks. And it's only going to hurt yourself. You're only hurting yourself by not allowing this new beginning. You could lose an opportunity in love. Real love. It's time for you to come out of this period of darkness. See the light. Stop let go of those old ideas. Let them go. Stop staying in a situation that is over. It's dead. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here if you allow it. Something that is very passionate, very fertile, very exciting, and loving. But you, I think you're going to stop it right in its tracks. Because of resent, you're holding on to that resent and that anxiety that we talked about. Therefore, I think that you may not allow this new relationship to start. It's like you're determined to protect yourself. You've come so far. Why can't you just let your guard down and let love come in? Let somebody love you. You've been hurt. You feel like you, you don't have anything to celebrate. Maybe you were involved in a third party situation in the past and you just can't trust. But whoever you're dealing with has good intentions for you. Whoever this new person is has really good intentions and they're offering you love. And it's time for you to accept the new opportunity and stop focusing on the loss. There's a major new beginning here. All you have to do is release and start over. So yeah, Libra, there's an opportunity for a new beginning in love that is could lead to something long term. There's a lot of passion here if you would allow it and not stop it. Don't stop it in its tracks. Allow yourself to love again. Allow yourself to love. Step out of this place of sacrificing yourself for something that is no more. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't know how that resonates, but I'm sure that you do. Libra. 
Libra. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. And you need to be honest with yourself. Take the mask off. Accept love. You deserve love. There's an opportunity for a new beginning that is absolutely beautiful if you would allow it. The old contract that ended, it ended for a reason. reason. It was a blessing in disguise. You're only hurting yourself by keeping your guard up. Let your guard down. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. That's what was on the bottom of the deck. Let go of the past disappointments, Libra. You have a beautiful, wonderful new opportunity. Accept. Talk to you later.